back to another video. My name is Jacob, this is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. And in today's video, we've got another one from Hassan who's going to be going over one of his trades that he took earlier in the week. Um, really, really nice trade on Euro JPY. Um, he goes from top down analysis, four hour, all the way down to the 30 minute, I believe. Um, and yeah, he shows you the process of going through his strategy. Totally open about it. It was really good to watch him go through his analysis like that. So I hope you enjoy it. If you do, remember to hit the subscribe button, click the like button and comment below if you've learned anything from this video. I hope you enjoy it and yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so live market. Four hour bullish. Yeah, simple. You can see bullish move up. Where's my destination? This is my closest destination here. All right, this is where I'm looking for the market to get up into. One hour. Where's my support and resistance levels? Resistance. All right, resistance. Perfect. Look, use a line tool if you want to be more accurate. All right, resistance. Support. Support is there. Easy peasy. Go back to your candle formation. Now, all we're waiting for for 30 minute. We know this is our target. We've broken it. Okay. We're just waiting for the market to come back into support. Give us a bullish candle off. There's your target. All right. So my trade is going to look something. If I put my target there, um, my trade is going to look something like this. I don't know where, I don't know where this candle is going to come into. And that's it. So look, 10 pips. I'm just looking for a 10 pip move. I'm not going, you know, I don't want to sit in it for days. I just want to catch the smallest of moves. And all you got to do, um, I heard someone say this once. All you need to do is catch the next candle. If you can catch the next one hour candle where it's going, catch the next 15 minute candle where it's going, the next 30 minute candle, that's all you need a day one trade a day just work out where the market's going catch that next candle you don't need the next 50 candles you don't need the next 30 candles one candle so if i can predict this market's coming in get a green candle and i can predict there's going to be potentially another green bullish candle i would just want to catch that one candle that's enough for me to make money for the day done out go do, do go do what i need to do one to two trades a day finish. Cool. Does this work on other pairs? Anything. It do it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Look, I can you can do on here. Yeah. Four hour. Oh, this one's a bit messy. Um where's the market likely to go? Okay. Let's look at the current four hours. We can see we had support. Market pushed up, pulled back into structure. Okay, we bullish. For me, the next destination is going to be here. All right, one hour. Where's my most immediate support and resistance levels? Bring on your line tool if you want. Resistance, support. Okay, resistance, support. 30 minutes what we need to do now is wait for we know this is where the market's likely to go after four hour what makes sense to us right we've pushed out okay we've pushed out we can potentially take a bar on this if we want we've got range on either side of the wick or you can wait for pull back into structure wait for a bullish candle and then take your trade okay and if you want Let's say you are going to take your trade like this. Let's say you're going to take a trade and you want to aim for there. You can do. All right. If you want to do 43 pips. Otherwise, if you want to go for something smaller, like 
I mean, each pair's got different range on them, yeah? So you can't, like, on Euro Yen, I can easily go for 10 pips. But if you go for 10 pips on this, uh, look how small that is. Right? It's, it's, it's tiny. So different pairs have different ranges. On this, you might want to do an average of about maybe 20, 15 to 20 pips. Something like this. All right, just to give yourself some breathing room. Um, yeah, I mean, like, look you could do that right or like i said you can wait for the pullback into structure take a buying opportunity and look where is the next level of structure that potentially i can take targets off um well i would go i would go here right why would i go there we've got support but also we've got a clean move here which i'm expecting this to fill in okay um, so this would fill in when we get up into this cluster here. I'm expecting some hesitation So that would be my target taking Any pair It doesn't matter The reason why I use euro yen is because when I started Doing this kind of scalping that's the pair I started with and that's the pair I've just kind of gotten used to and I know that between eight and half eight i know every morning we get a really good push off it all right so if i go to it that is what this was see this push look 8 30 if i go to a trade i took yesterday look eight o'clock so between eight and 8 30 you get this push in one way or another so i've learned i've learned what euro yen does i'm i'm getting more and more familiar with one pair that's why you look at one pair every day because i'm only going for 10 pips anyway so 